This looks like it's an unboxing Sorry. set up here. All right, so I'm at CES and I'm in the North Hall at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And I just want to give you a taste of how many robots, oh, that happens a lot actually, the uh, robots fall down. But let me show you all of these things that are going on. Some of these are set up as little dancing demos. Other times the robots look sadly depressed, laying up against a wall. Let me just go through here and give you a quick demonstration of some of these robots that are just running around out here. We go around here, we can see just hands going around, opening and closing. Lots of people have just a body can, some have torsos. This place is just huge and it's incredible how many robotic companies are here. How many have very similar and very different approaches to the actual robots. We got motor designers, we got uh, humanoid, we have non-humanoid type robots. Let me just keep going through here. We got some of them folding laundry over here. Yeah, they look nothing like humans. It's very much a robot, not a humanoid one, but it's designed to there, obviously, fold clothes and do some stuff around the house. And overall, it does get it done. You see that stack is all done by that robot, but it also has some misses that it does as well. Everywhere I look, I can just see this is robotic exoskeletons. People are strapping it onto their legs here. We go over here, we got robots swinging signs at us. All right, so this one is kind of a mix between humanoid and non-humanoid. The signs, lots of degrees of freedom there. That's pretty cool. And then this busy place up here is the Unitree. This one is probably the most impressive uh, demonstration. They have it doing boxing, all kinds of stuff. So this is where the zoo is back. Here, this neural industry robot. They have a ton of some giant robots, some smaller robots. They have cleaning robots. Here's a laundry folding robot doing cleaning. I look over on my right side, I got another robot. This place is just thriving with all kind of robots. So this one's here, they have like floor cleaning robots, dinner serving robots. They have full size robots here. Uh, you can just keep going. I mean, this is like nonstop. This one makes coffee for you. They asked me if I wanted a latte earlier. Uh, it can make me a coffee in about a minute and a half, it said. All right, here's a Vin Hub. It's a robot vending machine that goes and grabs your food and serves it to you. We got hands over here, so I can probably touch some of these hands saying hello to me. I go over here, I can see more robotic stuff over there to my left. I see some of the quadped robots here. Well, some of them are showing off their dexterity. I'll be able to handle a tennis ball. Folding up origami, we got playing ping pong over here. Real time playing ping pong with a person. We got another one, this one looks like it's an unboxing set up here. All right, so behind me we have a robotic mower and there's some other stuff. I'm gonna flip this camera back around here to show you some other things. So here we have a waving robot with a arm up. We spin around here, they have some other ones set up, more industrial robots. Arms are showing you the dexterity and amount of visa freedom they have. Then we can go over here. We can see like cleaning and more service robots. Lawnmower robots. Here we go. We got delivery marketing expert. And we got floor sweeping, cleaning robots here. I keep going around. Looks like we have robotic mower, which I'm very familiar with. Going around hand and cutting. Now, something that I'll say is uh, for these robots, I've been watching, and there are definitely some of the brands that behind a computer screen, there's a guy with a controller and he's manipulating that robot. So it is not doing its own movements despite what it appears. They're kind of selling it as it is, but it really isn't. Then there's some other ones that look like they actually are using their own logic and the robot is doing its thing. But I've seen at least three or four where behind the scenes they have a guy with a controller and is doing stuff, which just obviously doesn't make it quite as cool. And then you can walk around to some of the places like this and then all the robots are just laying down. I'm not sure why, they're just taking a break. 
but you know, there's definitely some work to be done to flush these out and I'm excited to see how they grow. All right, so I'm at the Roboterra booth here at CES 2026 and I'm looking at some of their, they have full humanoid robots back behind them, but then they have a booth here set up with a hand demonstration where they have a couple different hands. Some of them are more simplified and more lightweight and slender. That's the uh, X hand one light. Then they have a X hand one, which does have more degrees of freedom. And then they're coming out with a brand new one, which is going to be the X hand one pro. So the one inside the box here has 21 degrees of freedom where you can see it can spread its fingers out, even a palm degree of freedom in there. And then they have ones that have a sensor for both pressure and direction. So if you look at the computer screen here, whenever I press it, you can see that it detects that. And it so it can know all these different locations, what it's touching. And that really helps it understand what it's holding or what it's grasping on. So now what this guy's doing here is a demonstration where just the visual of his hand is being mimicked here on this X hand one. So he doesn't have to wear a glove or anything. He can just do any kind of uh, symbol there and then it mimics it. So that can be really useful for doing any kind of remote work or some place you don't want to actually have a human in the environment. You can do it just with visual. You don't have to wear any extra equipment. So that's pretty cool. In a little bit, I'm going to see a demonstration of their full humanoid robots uh, in action there. So let's see that here in a little bit.